Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a timeless tarot card reading for you, Virgo. So I'm going to trust whenever this reading comes across your screen. That's when you're meant to see it. Hope y'all are doing well. Uh, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Virgo anywhere in your chart or if you're just checking in on a Virgo. Everyone is welcome here. It just might not resonate with all. And if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. All right, Virgo, Virgo, what's going on? Let's get you a moon oracle card. Virgo, hold your vision, fixed moon. Hold on. Hold, hold, please. <laughs> what else? A fiery climax approaches. That's why you are asked to hold right now, rest right now, gather your strength right now, Virgo, because there is some kind of fiery climax coming toward you, the full moon in Aries. Hmm, something gaining momentum building in strength here. What is this that wants to be seen? Emotions are running high. Wow, is that kind of a conversation or an event? What is this? What is this coming toward Virgo? Animal spirit guide for up in the ether for the sign of Virgo. What kind of animal spirit guide is walking with Virgo spirit? What kind of animal spirit guide? The hawk seeing the bigger picture and the deer makes you a little bit nervous, a little bit skittish. What is this? The golden egg holding on to something. You are absolutely holding on to something. It looks like your vision or your dream or your idea. You're getting this bigger picture uh, and something's gaining momentum. It's building speed behind you. I wonder what that is. I wonder what that is. Let's get some more on that, on this uh, energy that is really, really racing toward you. A Zen tarot card for up in the ether for the sign of Virgo. What's going on with Virgo. Adventure. Look at this. And patience. Yeah. Hold please is right. You are nurturing something. You are <clears throat> absolutely pregnant with something. Something is coming through here. A new birth, a new life, a new beginning, a new door, something brand new. It has to do with this moon cycle. And, uh, yeah, and divine timing. This has been divinely orchestrated for you, Virgo. Divinely orchestrated. It breathes new life uh, into your life. Exhaustion. Yeah, look at you. It's like the longest uh, labor pains in the world. You've been going through something. <clears throat> what is this under here? Suppression with the Ten of Wands. You got the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the dream right in the middle. Uh, which was just a fantasy. It was too hard. It was too difficult to keep going. It was this energy pushing down on you, this absolute uh, energy, just pressure, 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 turning you from the piece of coal into the diamond here. But you always held a dream strong. You always had this idea of how things could be, Virgo. But yeah, you are exhausted. You need a little bit of a break. You need to breathe in between those uh, uh, labor pangs here. Lamaze it out, Virgo. <laughs> Lamaze, breathe it out. Two quick breaths in through the nose. One long breath out. Just really breathe through this pressure that you're feeling and it will ease up. It's like that rubber band. It's just gaining, gaining, gaining. When it lets go, it's going to be the, the sigh of relief of your lifetime here. It's just going to be this absolute uh, uh climactic moment for you because it's just going to be pure relief. It's going to be the moment uh, that baby's born, the moment you get that relief. But hang on, hang on. There's a lot of pressure on you right now. What are you thinking about right now, Virgo? The Ten of Swords, the betrayal, the heartbreak, the grief, the sorrow, the pain, the pain of it all. It's like you can't forget the birthing pains. You can't forget uh, how uh, difficult it was because you're still kind of right there. You're just still kind of right there. It's it's just almost here, but you got to wait. You got to really be patient. You got to breathe deeply. You got to focus on something here. Keep your focus. Hold your vision. Queen of Cups, it's almost here. It's almost here. You're going to get the uh, uh, payoff of this, which is relief. Virgo, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. You're such a beautiful soul here. You've really endured something. You've gone through something. And now you're just making this beautiful offering out. It's just like, you know what? I, I have gone through this. I don't want you to have to go through this. You have such empathy for those around you that are going through difficult times or have experienced difficult things. You're a beautiful counselor, a beautiful therapist. 
because you've been there. You've absolutely been there. And you go to them at their level. You go to them where they are and then you pull them up with you. It's just like, but come this way. There is relief. There is victory. There is uh, happiness here. Oh, Virgo. So beautiful. Tell me more. Tell me more in the mind space of Virgo. Tell me more about Virgo. Tell me more. Yes. Oh, God, Virgo. <laughs> Whew, there it is, the fool, the fool, the leap of faith, the trust fall, the victory, the do over, the start over. Your ships have come in. Yes, yes, Virgo, <laughs> it's over. It's over. This rush, uh, this wave of relief just really, really washing over you. You've done it. You've survived something. You have uh, endured something and you have risen up. You have absolutely ascended from that experience. You are not the same person. You don't think the same. You don't vibe the same. You're a completely different person because of it. It is time to take that deep breath. Let it go. Let it be. It's in the past. It's over. It's done. Uh, the memory will fade. The memory will fade as you bring this new experience into your life. The memory of that pain will fade. I love that. I love the fool in your mind space after this very intense period. Ace of Cups. Look at this. You got the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Your heart fulfillment coming in. The relief is the reward here. That's what you were searching for. You were searching for some uh, pain relief here. Some pain relief. And here it came. It just really, it just almost knocked you out. It was so powerful. This huge, huge victory. And judgment, judgment, what was dead is now awakened. You have found a new path. You have found a new adventure here. You have found a new way to be here. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It takes all of your power back from those moments where you were on your knees screaming out, mercy, mercy, I can't take anymore. It was just really, really oppressive. Just this energy, Virgo, that was pressing down on you. Uh, uh, I think it was just kind of an aftermath of somebody else's karma or Somebody was going through something. Somebody was very sick around you. Somebody was very uh, traumatized around you. And you are, uh, you're so good. You're so good because you give, you're the best friend anyone could ever have because you bring action with empathy. You don't just feel sorry for someone. You say, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. And we're going to, we're going to get you out of this because you're empathizing with them so much that you're just going to, you have a cause now you're going to fix this. It's a beautiful, beautiful trait in you. And you're an absolute perfect friend to have. <laughs> yeah. My sister's a Virgo, my very best friend, and we'll have my back till <laughs> the end of time. There you are. There you are. Look how beautiful you are with this rest time out now, Virgo. The hermit comes out here. You are cleaning house. You're cleaning house now. You're cleaning up that oppressive energy. You're turning it around. You're changing. It's almost like you were getting suffocated. It was pulling you out. This idea, this oppression, this um, injustice was pulling you out to sea and something switched the tide, the undertow turned. And now you're just gaining the momentum on the other side. You know, you're gaining the momentum, you're gaining, you're trending up. Now you're taking those spiritual timeouts to meditate, to go on these spiritual retreats, to really process and take care of yourself and nurture yourself. You're, you're really being the best friend to yourself that you are to others right now. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that with the sun. You're celebrating now. You're celebrating this victory. You're celebrating this success. Oh my God. Page of Cups. Look at all these declarations of love around you and the major arcana in your mind space. Oh, look at this. The dream come true. The nine of pentacles, the independence, the successful business now, the relaxing now, the almost being lazy. It's like somebody else is taking care of the baby. Now you did your part and now you get to rest. Now you get to take care of yourself. You get to heal up. You get to, um, really enjoy yourself for a minute here and just let go. Just be free for a minute in the heart space here. It really feels so good. It's like you've been unshackled. There's that grief. There it is. I mean, it was rough. It was absolutely rough. It almost, it just took the wind out of you. 
just knocked the wind out of you. And it took a minute. It took a minute to, you know, when the wind gets knocked out of you, when you fall and you hit your belly and it's just like, it's just like oh my God, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. Something uh, knocked the wind out of you. And it took a minute. It took a minute for you to get back up on your knees, for you to start breathing again, for you to start looking for uh, uh, reasons to celebrate again. I mean, I love this Virgo. Look at the high priestess coming out. I mean, you are really, really uh, psychic now. You're really spiritual. You you can so easily read the energy. You're reading uh, energy every single day, every interaction you have. You're picking up on this energy. That's that empathizer in you. You're a beautiful empathizer. But again, you take action on that empathy, and it's such a beautiful trait. You don't just say, yeah, sucks to be you. <laughs> you say, wow, that really sucks. And you know what? I've been through that. And here's what I did. And we're going to go get that. Let's go. Let's go. It's a two-day road trip, but we're going to do it. And you're jumping in the car with uh, with your uh, with strangers even. It doesn't even matter. You've got a cause now. It's just so beautiful. And you can see the outcome of it. You can see uh, what your action is going to do because you've been there. You've seen the outcome of this. You've seen how this pays off when you can endure and you can take your power back and uh, stand up for yourself. Two of Pentacles. Look at this. You're on the fence, kind of juggling, juggling in the heart space. That has to do with this grief, this residual grief. It's really, really hard to say goodbye to grief because then you feel like you're saying goodbye uh, to something that you wanted to hold on to for dear life that you would have done anything to keep them in your life. So it is really hard to say goodbye to that. It's almost like, uh, okay, but uh, there was a moment where it, you would have done anything. You would have done anything to have this not be. And, um, so now you're just coming into this beautiful acceptance, beautiful acceptance that uh, now it's time for me to live. Now it's time for me to jump off this cliff of the unknown. You know, we come into this world alone and we've got to go out of this world alone. So you're taking this beautiful, beautiful leap of faith on yourself here, giving yourself that empathy, that nurturing that you are so, so good at. And it's really helping to mend. Beautiful. Virgo. Beautiful. What else in the heart space? What else in the heart space for Virgo? What else? The two of swords, you're absolutely at some kind of crossroads here in the heart space. It's just like something tugging at you. Maybe somebody's calling for your attention here. Somebody needs your help. And you're just kind of not sure what to do. You want to go help. You want to go assist. But something uh, is holding you back or something, uh, it just can't be done here. And so you're feeling a little bit defeated with the Ten of Swords coming out in your mind space. And the two twos in your heart space here feeling a little bit defeated. Like there is no way that you can do this. But that's all for purpose. That's all part of the plan here. So you got to really go with the flow with this. You got to let things unfold naturally and organically without you pushing for perfection here. Let's get some more about that. What, what's in the foundation for Virgo? What's in the foundation for Virgo? Look at all these beautiful celebration cards. Ten of Cups, a beautiful celebration card. What is that? Ten of Pentacles, a beautiful celebration card. Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning in money. Knight of Wands, a new adventure. And King of Cups, you got the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups coming out here. Some kind of partnership or family, some kind of get together or reunion or a family business, or you're bringing family into the business or you're including them. Uh, much more into your world. You're bringing friends and family into your world. You're sharing uh, much, much more how you're feeling here. And um, yeah, yeah, you're really excited about this new beginning. So you do want to share it. There's some grief. There's something that's really tugging at your heart here. It's like, look at me. Don't forget me. Don't forget me. There's some kind of energy that doesn't want to be forgotten. And um, you're ready to leap forward. You're ready to jump into this new life, this new way to be. You can clearly see the future here. You can feel how that is feeling so good to you, feeling so much lighter, feeling like a heart fulfillment here. And um, it's victorious in money. There's some kind of merging happening here, some kind of partnership or merging with money here that makes you feel much lighter when it comes to your money. But it's not just about the money. It's about the heart with the Ten of Cups in the foundation as well. There's just... There's just an energy here that's a little bit resistant to come forward, doesn't want to move forward, doesn't want to, it doesn't want to leave, and it doesn't want to come with you. It just wants you to stay where you are. 
Tell me a little bit more about that. Tell me a little bit more about this Nine of Swords and the Heart Space for Virgo. Tell me a little bit more about that. Judgment, what is dead, is now awakened. You've triggered some kind of memory with this new beginning, with this new start, with this new do-over. You've triggered some kind of beginning, some kind of ending or beginning from the past here, some kind of memory uh, that has held you in grief for a really long time. It just really, every time you start to feel happy or joyful, there that door opens up. It's just, don't forget me. Don't forget this happened here. And um, there's a new you awakening. There's a new path opening up. There's a new beginning available for you, Virgo. And it has to do with a fresh new start. And this grief is not compatible. It, it doesn't fit through the door. It doesn't fit through the door of this new cycle here. Anything more you can tell us about that? Oh, I didn't even see. <laughs> and yet it wouldn't let me move on. Death and rebirth. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Take on that scorpionic energy here of I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it over, but I got to let this go. I'm going to really um, consciously, consciously uh, say uh, uh, farewell. Farewell to this grief. It. it it was hard. It was really, really difficult to get through. You had to really endure something. You had to have stamina. You had to be starfish energy where something was broken. Something was broken and you had to mend. You had to rebuild. You had to fix uh, the, like you do so beautifully. And um, you're on the other side of it. You're on the other side of it. These are big, big changes with this major arcana here, especially with judgment and death and rebirth in the heart space here. Some kind of new door, some kind of new possibility, a new way to look at it, a new way to feel about it, a new way to find grace within that situation. And there is a calling. You've been called. You've been called. Will you answer? Will you answer this call? I'm wondering. It's a spiritual skill. It's a talent that uh, you have gained throughout that harsh, harsh, very, very uh, difficult experience you gained a talent, you really focused on a, on a psychic skill. And uh, so now spirit has called you, spirit has called you to bring those messages to the world. And you're very, very powerful, very psychic. And uh, yeah, will you answer the call? Well, we have to, when God asks us uh, calls, you have to answer. <laughs> you have no choice. <laughs> so you do. And this is the best, best thing you could do. This this call was the best call you could have taken. You didn't uh, you didn't just put put them on hold and say, "I need a minute to grieve here. I need a minute to process. I need a minute to clean my house first before I invite you in," uh, which Virgos are so good at. <laughs> if you want something done right, just hire a Virgo is is my motto. Um, but it had to be perfect before you would allow yourself to jump into this next cycle, this next phase. Um, you're very, very good at uh, cleaning up chaos. You're very, very good at that. So yeah, Virgo, this is a brand new beginning. Uh, you're at a little bit of a crossroads now. Do I say goodbye? Do I say goodbye? Do I say farewell? Um, see you soon. And, and that's what you do. That's what you do. Nothing is goodbye. Nothing is forever. Nothing is forever. And you will meet again. You will. Whatever this loss was, you will meet again. So honor that. Honor the meaning of that. Oh, Virgo, I think I will leave it here. I hope you liked this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Enjoy this newfound wealth because you're moving into some newfound wealth here. It's new money too. It's not... Um, it's not uh, something that was uh, that you've always had. This is something new coming through your door, new money coming through your door now. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. All right, Virgo, I'm sending you all my love and light. And I will definitely tune in with you soon.